It's your boy Storm3 slamming and jamming those videos and live streams straight at ya. This is a Phillips screwdriver. This is what you're going to use to take the outside part of the Pokey Plus Plus apart. This is the Nintendo three prong security driver. This is what you're going to use to remove those pesky little three prong screws that Nintendo puts in all of the devices to stop you from taking them apart. These are tweezers that you might need to pick up and hold various little parts during the uh, process. These are blade tools that you might use to pry the copper pad from the circuit board. You gotta lift it just a little bit as you strip the wire so that you can put it underneath the copper pad. This might also come in useful because you need a way to strip the wires. This is really the only way that we have. We might actually try to use a knife. Those wires are so thin, you have to be really, really careful with them because you'll end up cutting the wire instead of stripping it. It's so tiny. And now, we're going to start with the Pokemon Plus Plus. And this kit right here, I bought, it's an actual iPhone, iPad repair kit. It basically has anything in here that you need to work on any iPhone or iPad device. It cost me $25. It comes with pry tools, tools to split the phone apart. It comes with all the various drivers that you'll need, five and six point drivers, as well as Phillips drivers, and the Nintendo security screwdriver that you need for this operation. And what's really good about this kit is it comes with this little short blade here that we're going to use to help splice the wires apart and also to lift the copper pad <clears throat> from the circuit board. First, we're going to start with this Phillips screwdriver here. They come in the kit to remove the Phillips screw to take the, the initial part of the Pokey Plus Plus apart. Okay, this screw will remain in this housing. You don't have to worry about that screw. Okay, and then the Pokey Plus Plus comes apart like this. And then you use something to take the battery out. They can push it or fit down in there like so and pry the battery out. Set the battery off to the side. Now, on this, you're going to notice there are three security screws in this with three prongs. There's one here, one here, and one there. They're very hard to see. They're three prong security screws that Nintendo puts in everything. Okay? <clears throat> and for that, we use the three prong driver to take those screws out. And when the screws come out, like so, you want a container to put them in because these screws are very easy to lose. <clears throat> That's one. That's two. get the screw there we go that's three now you need something to push the white part out like this okay you set this aside you want this gasket to kind of stay in there though okay so what you want to do when it pops out you want to put that back in the edge it's if you can. Because when you turn, after putting it all back together, right, and you start putting the housing back together like this, you want this, this seal right here is for waterproofing the Pokey Plus Plus. 
you want this to be remain in place because if this falls out it's going to get cockeyed in place like this and you may not be able to make contact with your battery or something else because of the rubber seal laying in the way and we're going to set this apart now this is the important part right here okay you have the motor this is what we're going to be removing this is the circuit board okay what we're going to do first is we're going to remove the little motor this motor is the vibration that you feel whenever the pokey plus plus activates okay it is connected by two wires to this circuit board as you can see set this one aside as well notice this also has a rubber gasket that goes over top of where the button is you want to try your best to keep all these gaskets and rubber parts in place okay these wires here are plenty long enough it gives you lots of extra room to work with to make sure that you get the wire tucked up underneath this right here is the copper pad that we're going to be working with okay that's what we're going to be putting this wire up under is this copper pad now you need to take something to disconnect these wires from this motor the most simplest way is a pair of side cuts or a pair of needle nose that has a cutter on it you want to do it close to the motor as you can so that you have enough wire left we're not going to be using this motor anymore so it really doesn't matter okay like so set motor out of the way now black wire not the white wire wire right here is the one we're interested in okay this is what's going to allow us to turn this into an automated pokey plus plus I'm going to fold this black wire out of the way for now okay now we need to be working with this white wire and it's very very thin as you can tell see how thin that is you have to just barely get the end stripped enough that you can tuck under the copper pad okay just enough a very little bit is all you need stripped off of it you don't want it to make contact with any one of these other little components on the circuit board that's why you just want to barely strip a little bit off so we're going to try first with these pair of needle nose pliers to see if we can get enough off of it without cutting it. This is the reason why we want as much of this wire left as possible, okay? Because we don't know how easy it's going to be to strip it. And there it is. I know that's hard for you to see, but there's barely any little bit on the end of it right there that is stripped. And you can see bare wires. That is what we're looking for, okay? And you kind of want to keep these wires all together, right? So you just want to make sure that they're twisted around each other if you can get them that way, okay? That will make things easier. So you don't get wires spreading apart when you're trying to tuck it up underneath the pad and stuff. You want to keep these wires together, okay? Like so. Now, in this part of the video, we're going to be raising up the back corner of this pad. This point right here is what you want to make contact with the wire. You want it right here, touching this little corner, this little dot in the corner of this copper pad. Now, this is where these blade tools come into play, okay? You want to get in under this copper pad and just barely lift it up okay if I can get a hold of it I think I got it I can't tell There we go. 
Now we're split up. That copper pad is just barely lifted off of that circuit board. You see it? It's just barely lifted in that corner off the circuit board. That is what we're looking for, okay? Now you're going to take this wire, you need to fold it back around so it's pointing straight <clears throat> at that corner. That's what you're wanting, something like this, okay? So you're gonna use something to fold the wire like that so it's pointed almost straight in there, okay? And this is where the little tweezers comes in handy. You wanna take that wire, stick it in under the corner of that pad, okay? Like so, right? And once you have the wires in there, now we're going to push the pad back down. It's got sticky stuff on it, so it will stick, okay? You want to push it back down on top of that wire, like so, okay? That's allowing it to make contact with exactly where it needs to and nowhere else. Okay? Make sure this corner is pushed down on top of that. Then you put it all back together the exact way you took it apart. Okay, this side goes down. This is also where the tweezers comes in handy. Okay, you want to line up the circuit board with the two spots on either side, one right here and one right there, okay? Like so. <clears throat> then, here comes the fun part. You have to <clears throat> make sure that you turn this and this almost sideways as you're putting the two pieces together, okay? They gotta go inside each other like so, okay? Now, we need to put the screws back in this, the three Nintendo security screws, okay? And the best way to get these screws out of here <clears throat> is to use the magnetic driver so that you get one at a time and don't lose them. Like I just dropped one, but it's easy to do. That's why I suggest you work on a light colored backdrop Okay, you put these security screws back in, basically the reverse process that you just used to take it apart. And I dropped it again. The magnetism is not very strong in these drivers. Put it in the hole. You don't want to over tighten. Don't strip these little little bitty screws out. Just <clears throat> barely finger tight. If I can get it out of there. Okay. Dang it. If I can get it on there, the magnetism is not very strong on this driver. You put it in the hole, if you can get it in the hole. If not, if it falls, it's no big deal. Just use your screwdriver to get it out like that, okay? Because it's going to happen, I promise you, during this. When you took it apart and when you put it back together, you're going to drop screws. So that's good that I did to show you how easy it is to retrieve the lost screws. Now, you take the battery, put it back in there, right? You take this, it goes right back on top of the case like this. And this is where you take your Phillips screwdriver, not the three prong, the Phillips. You tighten it just enough so you don't strip it, right? So it's making contact good and it won't come off. And that is how 
you do a Pokey Plus Plus. And for those of you watched after we put this back together, yes, please be prepared to take this little thing apart and put it back together about 20 times. You have to get that wire just right touching that corner. And it it's supposed to be the black wire. I'm sorry. I said white wire in the video. It's supposed to be the black wire. Um, I haven't done one in a long time. That's why. Anyway, I finally got everything back together. And the result is this. And this is the end result, people. This is what the end-all, be-all result is that we were looking for. As you can see, it's auto-catching and it's auto-spinning here in just a second. It's going to spin a pokey stop too. And there it goes into the pokey stop. And bam, there's the items. And you know already it's your boy, Storm3, slamming and jamming those videos and live streams straight at you, baby.